Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to explain about the path line, stream line, brick line, and stream tube. And these, whatever the definitions are there, these we are going to consider in the fluid flow. When fluid is flowing, then those these terms are we are going to use in the fluid flow. Then these are the terms what are there. The first one is the timelines. At the time, different times, the how the lines will be, we are going to take the fluid flow like this. That is called as the timelines. We are not going to take the definition of this. Then next one is the path line. We'll discuss streak line, stream line, and stream tube. These definitions we'll discuss, and with example, we'll see that what are means by these. First one is the path line. It is a path traced by a fluid particle over a period of time during its motion along the fluid flow. The fluid flow, what is there? It consists of the number of particles. If you take the one particle in the fluid flow, then what that fluid flow, fluid particle moves in which path? That is called as a path line. That is a path traced by one fluid from initial time zero to the particular time TFT. And this path tracer by the particular fluid particle is called as a path line. An example here, path tracer by an ant coming out from its dwelling. Okay, the ant will randomly it will move and the path whatever is there by that ant, like that similarly here, the streamline we are going to consider. The next is streamline. It is an imaginary line such that when the tangent is drawn at any point, it gives the velocity of that of the fluid particle at that point and at that instant. The streamline, whatever is there in the fluid flow, it is an imaginary line. The imaginary streamlines will be there. These are the streamlines. And if an object is there present that one, the streamline will bend. The streamline will be bend like this. And here, the streamline formed, these imaginary lines, whatever formed as there, those are in such that if you draw tangent to that one, the tangent to that uh, streamlines at any point, it gives the velocity of the fluid particle at that point, at that instant. These are the tangents which are drawn and which will give the velocity at this point, at that instant. Like this, the usually is the streamlines we are going to imagine in the fluid flow, and those are called as the streamlines. Next, moving that one, strict line. It is that imaginary line that connects all the fluid particles that has gone through a point or a section over a period of time in a fluid motion. Here, one point or a one section if you consider at the initial part of the fluid flow, then the number of fluid particles are hmm, passing through that point, passing through that section. And whatever the different number of particles which have passed through this point, those all together if you connect, then whatever the line forms, that we will call as a strict line. Here, at the one, this is the point uh, which is the first particle which is passing through this point. Then two, three, up to ten particles what are there, these are passed through this point or a section, okay, where the one is flowing. And all these points, whatever particles are there while flowing, and these are moving in the different uh, positions, these are connected. And that will form a line that is a strict line. The next one is that stream tube. It is an imaginary tube. It is an imaginary tube in the fluid motion found by a streamline. Okay, the streamline we are going to consider in the fluid flow. And by that streamline, whatever the tube forms, imaginary tube, that is called as a stream tube on its surface, on its surface, such that flow only enters the tube from one side and leaves it on the other side only. That means here the 
these are the streamlines what are there and these streamlines are moving in this direction and here we are going to imagine that one there is a tube which is formed by the surface of the streamlines so that what one end one side this fluid flow enters and the other side it will leaves and this imaginary we are going to consider at the streamlines what are there outer surface also and these are the streamlines and inside the around the circumference also there are streamlines and inside also the streamlines are there and the outside surface what are there the streamlines those all imaginarily connected and this streamline what purpose we are going to use no flow takes place across the stream tube this is stream tube along the stream tube the flow is taking place no fluid flow is taking place across this one across the streamline there is no fluid flow is taking place there is a right angles to the streamlines and for what purpose we are going to imagine this one as a stream tube that is this concept will help in the analysis of fluid motion okay all these lines what we have discussed along with the stream tube this will help in the analysis of the fluid flow and further how we are going to consider these things and further the fluid uh, with the flow we are going to discuss the what analysis will be there thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment